Hello, and thanks for tuning in. My name is Brad Micklin. I'm the attorney and managing member of the Micklin Law Group, which is a law firm concentrated in empowering men and fathers in divorce, custody, and family law matters, with offices in Nutley, Montclair, New Jersey. I'm also the proud author of How to Survive and Thrive When Divorcing a Narcissist. You can find the book on Amazon.com in a Kindle version and a hardback copy by searching my name or the title. I hope it helps you or anybody facing these issues. Today is my weekly tip where I try to take an issue that I find many clients or consultations will ask me. And today I'm going to focus on what are the top three things you need to do if your divorce will continue into 2021. So the first thing that you need to do is review your finances for the past year. Look at your income statements, look at your asset and debts, see if the valuations have changed and whether or not you need to reevaluate them either by an appraisal or an evaluation that might be outdated. The next thing I think you need to do is sort of take an inventory of your case and what's happened over the past year. Review any court orders so that you're clear what has been ordered, what you need to do, or what the other person should be doing. Look at any correspondence that may have been exchanged either between you and the other side or the two lawyers so you can recall the issues that have been discussed and what the resolution or was or was not and whether they need to be resolved. And get an overall status of where your case is. Find out what issues still remain open and what issues have been resolved, whether temporarily or permanently. The last thing I think you need to do is, assuming you have an attorney, is meet with that attorney and sort of take an inventory of what's transpired from the legal aspect of your case over the past year and find out what issues remain and how you plan to attack them or approach them, let's say, so that it's not necessarily a battle, as the year progresses. Find out what are the ranges of opportunities, what are the likely outcomes, what kind of hearings are you likely to expect, cost and time, really get a sense of where your case is going to go into the next year so that you start out more powerfully and not trying to run and catch up. I hope this tip helps you. If it does, please give a like and share so other people get to see the video. You can subscribe so that you get notices when I go online and you also can ask me questions, comments that you have, or any information that you would like me to see. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the end of the year is great for you. I hope everybody's staying safe and I'll see you on my next video. Here's my contact information if you have any questions or would like to schedule a meeting. 